heavens! Quiet! Here's the second troop. Find them! We'll do the same to every village at your bells again, Flo. Pity about the women. War, there's no room for pity. Ah! will have to find a new leader. I cut him down myself. I gave no order to attack. What did you expect me to do? Stand firm while they hacked away at our flanks? I command. You obey. Personal initiative in battle is dangerous. Yes, for the reputation of others. Isn't it more important to win the battle than to... Be quiet. I won't be lectured by my junior officers. Your orders have come. You'll leave for Rome in the morning. Rome? I see. In other words, I made the mistake of winning a small victory. I permitted myself to outsign the general in command. Your orders are signed by Diocletian. Very obliging of your friend, the emperor. I won't permit this. So I'm to go to Rome, where there's no danger of making a name for myself. You see even in your own son now as a threat to your ambition, don't you? Don't you, as you once saw my mother. That's why I was never allowed to know her, wasn't it? Because of your ambition. I forbid you ever to mention her. Her origins were too humble for a man as great as you wish to be. How dare you! Come back here! Diocletian has named you Tribune of the First Order. I hope you realize what this can mean. Thank you. Am I dismissed? You know it's common knowledge. The Diocletian intends to abdicate soon. It was well over a year ago he first asked me to send my son to him, but I told him it was impossible because we had a war to win first. After all, it was true. But if you've made a name for yourself here, it was I who gave you the chance. Yes, opportunity up to a point. Anyway, my place is here on the frontier. Generals are made in Rome, Constantine. It's time you realize the extent of the intrigue and corruption there. A good blow. Who did it? He will never do it again. You have a tendency to mistake rashness for valor. You must be more discreet. I look forward to seeing Fausta. I hope she feels the same. Oh, son, this is for you. I've never seen your hand without it. It belonged to your mother. I'll tell you someday about her. Not now. Come along. But what trouble there was. Constantine couldn't sit still for a moment. And the sculptor was always on the point of giving up. Anyway, I won. He's away so much of the time that I need something to remember him by. It's a very good likeness. You can see the man of action in it. The man who feels himself destined for greatness. You can understand why Diocletian thinks so highly of him. 
and why my sister is so in love with him. Don't you agree, Licinius? I know nothing about that. Amodius is the sculptor. He is the one who ought to make a copy of this. Here. Study it, Amodius. Our descendants have a right to know the faces of the great heroes of the past. We mere thinkers and talkers must stay in the shadows and let posterity guess what we look like. This is the day of great soldiers and warriors. Well, are you impressed? With such a model, your task shouldn't be too difficult. I don't know. I've never seen Constantine. I can assure you it's exactly like him. I can't say a fault in him. Nor in Constantine. Oh. Well. It's a unique head, but I'm sure his features won't escape me. Yes. Put it back in its place. it to Rome. You can get there tonight. If you're in a hurry, take that way and pass the bend to the cave. The altar will go here. Ready for the Easter ceremony. rather ugly. If the blade had penetrated just a bit further, he'd have been beyond help. The major arteries, however, are intact. You seem to know what you're doing. Yes. I've had a little experience of this. Let me have it, my child. Livia. Yes. Oh, it's 
going to be a beautiful day. Too bad. <laughs> Three years on the frontier, and I had to come to Rome to get wounded by a motley pack of dirty beggars. Don't complain. There are others who are less fortunate. As soon as you're in condition to travel. Oh, I can travel now? Oh, oh no. You'll be all right. I told you before, you can join me in a couple of days. Fine friend you are. Until then, try to rest. Where are the others? In the field. I'll take them. Ah, I was looking for you. We are in your debt. My friend wouldn't be alive without your help. Thank you. There's no need of that. We were delighted that we could be of help. As you wish. The one thing I would ask if we should ever again happen to meet. I hope so. Please forget that you have ever known me. Why? Last night, did we ask who you were? No. Goodbye now. Tell me, is it true that uh, there are a great many Christians in and around Rome? Never mind, I thought you might just happen to know. Centurion? Uh. Centurion? Drink this. What's that? Milk. Ah, give me wine, chicken, anything but that. get my strength back. For three years, I've dreamed of its food, baths, women, the beautiful perfumed women of Rome. Have you ever seen a Roman woman? No. What's your name? Livia. Why did they give you a woman's name? I am a woman. You? You're still a child. I shouldn't have said that. I'm sorry. I wasn't offended. Ah, if I could stretch out in a fine warm bath again. Shall I bring you a basin? Do you think I'd fit in a basin? As soon as you can walk, I'll help you down to the river. It's not far. As soon as I can walk, I'm leaving. Understand? Yes, of course. And the report sent me of your behavior certainly confirmed the faith that Maximianus and I bestowed upon you. I am very happy to see you in Rome again. Thank you, Diocletian. I am sorry about your encounter with these bandits. I assure you they will be brought to justice. I'll assign the matter to my son. Maxentius? I want all the guilty men, and I want them soon. May your stay here be a pleasant one, Constantine. You have earned it. I'm sorry you have to be bothered with all this, Maxentius. After all, it's part of my duty. As prefect of the Praetorium, I'm responsible for everything that happens in Rome. And you'd be surprised how many things happen in Rome. Excuse me, who's that man over there? Which one? The tall one with the white hair. Statilius. My eccentric father, with all due respect to his imperial majesty, considers him the best physician in Rome and feels he could not live without his care. Do you know him? Uh, no, but I would have waited. He was someone of importance. Here is someone who should be of more importance to you. My sister, Fausta. Impetuous as ever. Father gave her strict orders to remain at home today. I consider myself very fortunate. Very fortunate. That damned Emodius. There'll never be another chance like that. I was told we couldn't see each other until tonight. I was more impatient than a beating. 
soldiers have a bad habit of respecting our orders. Must I command you then to embrace me? Hmm? There's nothing to stop us. We'll try once more. No. Apuleius! While he's in Rome, I'm responsible for his safety. That inquiry into the bandits is to get nowhere. Understand? I've forgotten how beautiful you are. Maybe that's why you stayed away so long. But you must have had lots of nice little barbarian guests among your prisoners to keep you company. Hmm? Life is so different there, Fausta. It's like another world. Everything that's warm and gentle. It's so far away that it seems not to exist. Long winter snows, cold, bitter. When they thaw, before the grass can spring up, the enemies spring up. Attacks, ambushes. At night they shout and threaten. You live in a long nightmare. When dawn comes, it's like a liberation for everyone. Even if it means the beginning of more fighting. Oh, Constantine. But you don't have to go back anymore. Soon you'll be Caesar and I'll be your wife. Caesar? Is that why you want to marry me? A woman loves a man for himself. Do you think you could come to love me? Hmm? <laughs> now you want to know too much. We'll always be together. Isn't that enough? Those two are together. Look. The slightest thing can separate them. <sighs> Look now. They're not separated anymore. The images are one. They're together again. For always. The marriage has been a mistake to kill him. Once they're married, we can counsel and guide him. The power will still be in our hands. You underrate Constantine, and you count too much on Fausta. You can never trust a woman in love. <laughs> Who did that? <laughs> oh, come now. You're afraid of a little cold water? Well, I've sown this. It's the best I could do. Well, it's almost like it's new. Very good, thank you. You recovered quickly, didn't you? Yes. And today I'm leaving. On my way to Rome. Yes, I know. For you it must be boring here in the country. In Rome you will enjoy yourself. Help me, please. Midas must have run his fingers through your hair. Huh. I'd like to see him try. <laughs> Midas was a king in Asia. Whatever he touched turned to gold. Nonsense. What do you mean by that? Tales for children turning things into gold. Do you mean that? Of course I do. And all the gods, that's nonsense. I believe in one God, one and indivisible. Then you're a... A Christian. Take care, Livia. If you dare speak like this to everyone, you'll be denounced. You're not everyone. Besides, if none of us ever talks about what we believe in, how are the rest of you ever going to save your souls? They can throw you to the lions for that, you know. It will happen one day. I wouldn't be the first. And I thought you were such a child. I am a child. Livia! 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 They've arrested Matteo. 
Yes, and the others. They attacked a Roman officer the other day. But these are people I know. They're completely innocent. Let them go, I say. Release them at once. Who is that? Call him here. Centurion, come here. Are you in command? Well, you're making a mistake. I was with Constantine. The men who attacked us are not in this group here. I wonder if he'd be able to identify them. Would you be able Enough to... Enough of this quibbling. Release them. You may be fresh from the provinces, but you may not order around a magistrate of the Empire. Now, one of their bandits here. Arrest him! I was forced to arrest him. He insulted my office. That makes no difference. You should have realized who he was. Sorry? All right, all right. Now go and release those peasants. You must excuse us, Constantine. We are doing our best to find your attackers. But uh, even Roman justice can make mistakes. I'm aware of that. Accompany them. I'll join you in a moment. Your sword. Do you really want them released? Yes. This was uh, found near the house of the girl. They are Christians. There's no doubt. And it wouldn't surprise me if that Hadrian had some contact with them. Have him followed. The trial of some Christians. It would be interesting to watch. Why not? Oh, they are excellent actors. If they played the tragedies of Seneca, they would be a great success. If you renounce your religion, you can go free. I believe in one God. The accuser is condemned to death. Next. What is your name? What does my name matter? Are you a free woman or a slave? That also is not important. Why won't you answer the questions? Ask her yourself, Constantine. Come here. Do as the Tribune commands. What city do you come from? The only question here is my faith. You're being foolishly stubborn. It might cost you your life. I'm a Christian. I'm not afraid to die. Now, perhaps. But when your moment comes, alone... We are never alone. God is with us. Well, Tribune? What did I tell you? A magnificent sense of the theater. They really deserve applause. Instead, they go to their deaths. Wait! The Tribune has the power to overrule the sentence of death. Ask him to save you. Save me? Death is only the beginning of the true life. Did you hear that, Constantine? The cue for the second act. We play word games. Why don't you rebel? We win by sacrifice, not by rebellion. It is the promise of Christ. And what if your Christ has deceived you? He never deceives anyone. <laughs> How amusing. That should not make sense. Let her go. Take her away. Strange people. Pity that so much courage and determination should be wasted. Without all the boring mob yelling and sweating around you. It 
It's one of the few good ideas of my father. They preach an absurd doctrine that all men are equal. Their converts increase every day. Soon they'll overpower us. We are about to abdicate. Let the men who succeed us occupy themselves with the problem. We must select men who will be absolutely firm on the religious question. You're proposing that your son be in office? I will not allow it. Not Maxentius. Your Majesties, the victor awaits you. sake, I can see no pleasure in it. If at least they had weapons, if they could defend themselves. Weapons for the Christians? You heard them yourself. For them, death is the true life. Important information has come in, Maxentius. A meeting of Christians near the house of that girl where Constantine was attacked. You have given orders. Not one will escape. Wiped out. But not like this. He is right. Enough. Inevitable end of a man who is too courageous.
a brave man. Name your reward. I'm very grateful to both the emperors. For myself, nothing. But if perhaps Fausta has a request. The life of the child and that of all of them. Please let them go. Set them free. You have your wish. We have shed enough blood for one morning. What a touching scene. All very generous. fast approaching when the word of our Lord Jesus Christ will be worshipped everywhere on earth. None of us will be alive for that. Nor will any of our children. When is it going to end all of this torture and bloodshed? When will humanity no longer be divided into oppressor and oppressed, into masters and slaves? If we have to suffer for our religion, at least we'll die like men. If you oppose violence with violence, you reap it, Matthias. To love is the only way. There is no real justice. Those are empty words. The Praetorians! The Praetorians! Block the exit! Quiet. Remain calm. Quiet. Nidia! Nidia! Nidia, where are you? You know what to do. Separate. Oh, Some to the north. Some of you go out the other way. Some of you follow me. This way. Hurry! Savia! 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 Demetrius! Savia! 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 Where's Livia? Perhaps she went the other way. We must run. Come, hurry! <laughs> when I saw you there fighting in the arena. Why did you do it? I don't know, on impulse. You can't just sit there and watch women, children being slaughtered, even if they're willing to die. I think I understand why they do it. You do? It's like when you really love someone. It's easy to sacrifice. Even your life. Forgive me for disturbing you, mistress. At the front gate, there's a man who's very persistent. He refuses to go without seeing you. Who is it? His name is Hadrian. He's run to Constantine for help. And Constantine will play right into our hands. But will Diocletian give us the order for his arrest? Of course he will. We'll act with complete legal authority. You will go to arrest him, he'll attempt to escape, and, uh, unfortunately, someone will be killed. Leave it to me. Entirely. Good luck, Licinius. One rival the less. Two. Constantine's death will also ruin Licinius. Diocletian will never forgive him. One learns from you every day. All 
power in the hands of one man alone. And for this, I must thank a miserable little Christian girl. They'll sentence her to death. Like a common criminal. As if she were a murderer. I agree that the edicts against the Christians are harsh, but they bring these things on themselves. I've seen it. How can you possibly say they brought this on themselves? By helping us when we were attacked? How can I ask the Lord to make an exception of that girl? On what grounds? But Constantine, can't you see? He's in love with her. Are you, Adrian? Of course not. It's just that it's impossible to forget the way the poor creature helped me. Maxentius wanted to. He could save her at once. Maxentius, not even if you go to him. I've never asked you for anything. But this time I'm begging for your help. I'm sorry, Adrian. I don't see how I can. Come, Adrian. It's no use. Have you thought where you could hide her, even if you can get her away? Her friends are waiting at the Flaminian Gate. Out there! Who comes? Tribune of the Empire. Round your spear, Sentry. Do you have any Christians here? Yes, Tribune. I wish to see them. Keeper! Here's an officer! Open! I want to see those who were arrested today. This way. No, not here.
flagrant breach of authority. And when Licinius tried to stop him, he invoked his privilege as a tribune of the First Order. They not only freed the girl, they also killed the sentry. Are you certain it was Constantine? I know him well. I was officer of the day when he came to the prison to arrange the release of those peasants. Those Christians. They're everywhere. In whom can one believe? My own physician, and now Constantine, a future Caesar. Despite the evidence that you have placed before us, we must allow Constantine to refute it. Let's question him, then. You're right. Have him brought here at once. Licinius, I want you to go after him yourself. Remember to treat him with the respect due a tribune. I'll not forget. There they are, sir. Constantine! Constantine! What are you doing here? Constantine, Licinius and his men are looking for you everywhere. What's happened? The Dictation knows about everything. Why did you have to kill the sentry? The sentry? I didn't kill anyone. But the prison guard saw you. The guard? But he's lying. And it was true. They planned a trap for you. I don't know. The sinners himself, maybe. You can't go back to Rome now, Constantine. I must explain to Diocletian. He'll believe me if I can talk to him. But they'd never let you get to him alive. The only person that can defend you is your father. I'm not going to run away. I'll find some means to reach Diocletian. Constantine, they're coming. Save yourself. I beg you. Faustus right. They'll kill you. They wouldn't send that many just to arrest you. I'll send for you. On the day of our election, Maximianus and I by that most solemn vow given both to the Senate and the people of Rome, agreed in due time to give back all the powers Jove had bestowed on us and to pass them on to the men chosen as our successors. And to keep faith with all our promises, we therefore proclaim as emperor of the eastern provinces Galerius Dacius, and as Emperor of the West, Constantius Chlorus. They well merit all your acclamation. And to succeed as the new Caesars, two are selected, who are well known for valor, courage, and prudence. Flavius Severus, for the West, and for the East, the Tribune of the First Order, Licinius Licinianus. I want to be the first to congratulate you, Licinius. I'll never forget how much you helped me. Third Legion. Constantine, your father must be in trouble. War deserves. What could have happened? Soldier, stop! You come back here! You there, hold! I am. The barbarians. We're outnumbered. It's hopeless. Let me pass. Who gave the orders to retreat? I did. Let me pass. 
yourselves, Romans. Never go to her. They'd have taken you too. Well, that was why. Why didn't you? You, you should have told me sooner. Couldn't you make her see how wrong, how foolish we could move her? She had too much will. Find her. Look for her. Tell her that my last thought was of her. Ellen. 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 My last battle. The barbarians. The empire. I've lost my last battle. I told you, a victory. Yours.
last victory of Constantius Florus, your emperor. Even among Romans, such men are rare. Victorious in arms, strong to govern, unswerving in justice. We shall follow in his steps. We shall continue. You, Salvius, come here. Give me a sword. Return to your ranks. Men of the Legion, your sword is the power under which I shall rule, the power you have given me, the power only you shall take from me. If ever, I shall be unworthy. soldiers the gratitude of all the Roman people. Also through my legate Hadrian Rufus, I, Constantine, wish to make known to the Senate that hereafter my policy shall be one of peace. Not only peace on our borders, but also peace in Rome. That is to say, freedom and tolerance for the Christians so that all may strive together for the common good of the empire. Given at our camp at Treveri, Constantine Augustus, Emperor of the West. What does this mean? Then the edict of Diocletian against the Christians is revoked? Noble fathers, I too join in the universal celebration for the election of Constantine. And I'm sure that I speak for all of you in assuring his legate that the emperor's wishes shall be carried out with the greatest of zeal, as though he himself were among us. It is to be hoped that the Christians will appreciate as we do the great generosity of Constantine, that they will come out from the holes in the ground and openly worship their God without fear, but that they will not deride the gods of Rome nor preach equality among men and the liberation of slaves, nor above all stir up discord among our people. The Senate entrusts you to convey to the Emperor its gratitude and devotion. I will do so. Constantine is a usurper. He was elected by his soldiers and you support him. Why did you allow yourself to speak in our name? The Senate is the supreme custodian of our institution. Would you speak like that if you had Constantine's legions facing you? At this moment, all the army we could raise would be a hundred or so men like you and a camp following of the dregs of Rome. What we need is time. And we mustn't arouse suspicion. No, Sir Chile, something simpler. It's not the wedding, only the acceptance of the ritual gift. Give me the silver snake bracelet to bring me luck. How affectionate you are. Why do you insist on this absurd hostility? You're the only one who misinterpreted the events of that night. It was the true interpretation. But unfortunately, I had no proof. Because there's none to be had. Maxentius has always been a loyal friend to Constantine. Even this morning in the Senate. 
If only you had heard him. My brother's very clever, but he no longer deceives me. Now that Constantine's emperor, he wants to use me to help him. That's why you're here. Why, no, I... And you continue to play his game. Why don't you stop playing at politics and government? You had to give up your power. Resign yourself to it. Hmm? No, Fausta. The Empire still needs me. As you will come to realize. Welcome, Hadrian. Thank you for receiving me. Accept these gifts in the name of the Emperor Constantine. A modest token of his sincere affection for you. Take them to my room. There are fabrics woven by the women of Saruski, as well as furs, jewelry, vases. Accompanied by this, which I'm sure you've waited for oh. most of all. You're right, Hadrian. I was terribly worried. Excuse me. I'm happy to see you, Hadrian. The gods be with you. I hope the emperor himself is not far behind. All of Rome awaits impatiently. The Emperor has many important duties which keep him in Treveri. But the festivities, the ceremonies, what of them? We'll postpone them till after the wedding. Where would it take place? At Treveri. If your daughter agrees, the Emperor prefers to marry in Germany. But Hadrian, there's still something else you forgot to give me. I was to wait till you asked. The ring is yours. It was his mother's. He treasures it more than anything. And now it'll be mine. Oh, Adrian, I hope that one day you're as happy as I am at this moment. I accept your good wishes. Soon our father and I will have to bow before you. during this time? In Sabinia, in the mountains. We had some terrible moments. We'd never have survived except for Elena. I'm sure she was sent by God. Elena? Yes. How old is she? I don't know. How old is she, Livia? Oh, about 50. Do you know where she is? She went back to Rome. The persecutions were still going on, but she wanted to help those who were in worse danger. You must help me find her. Gladly, but why? It may be someone very close to Constantine. testimony before you and Jove, omnipotent. Oh, Cecilia. Go and get me the ribbons. All right. Are you still sorry that I brought you with me to Dravieri? Oh, no, mistress. I've seen so many wonderful things. And all for your wedding. Listen, everyone is happy for us. And you? 
Constantine. Me too, I'm very happy. I don't want you to feel that this is just a marriage of state arranged by your family. But of course I don't. You remember I asked you once if you could ever come to love me. I ask you now again. Constantine. When you gave me this ring, I realized how much I loved you. Now I never part with it. It was enough for one man to remind him of a woman for all of his life. And our lives too. It'll bind them for always. I didn't authorize Maxentius to recruit more men. Cavalry, foot soldiers. He's tripled the garrison in Rome. What's the reason for these new troops? To protect Rome. In time of peace? You forget the Christians. Oh. They would overthrow our oldest institution. They're our most peaceful citizens. If they preach that everyone, even a slave, has a soul, that doesn't make them enemies of the state. Politically, Maxentius feels the that... The politics of Maxentius serve only to persecute more and more of our people. I will not allow it. You're not being fair, Constantine. My son is your most loyal subject. He believes, as I do, that the imperial power should not be divided between you and Galerius, but in your hands. Hello. I hope I misunderstand you. Galerius is here in Treveria's Emperor of the East to officially recognize my election. I respect his authority as he respects mine. I will never permit any abuse of power to set aside the law. The law is made by the man who wins. I'm not that cynical. The unification of the imperial power, if it happens, must come about spontaneously through the acceptance of a common principle. Christianity, for example. You know I'm not a Christian, nor do I share their convictions. But I do believe in a justice which embraces us all. Ah! How did this happen? The scaffolding was rotten. Find out who was responsible. A justice which embraces us all. A moment ago, he was alive. And now, listen to me, Constantine. Think of the empire. An accident like this to Galerius could unify the empire. Well? Because you're Faustus' father, I'll forget what you've said. Hail! Hope you had a pleasant journey. How good to see you. Hail, Constantine. I'm happy to see you again, Maxim. They did not want you with them, but then you are not an emperor. I will be. I doubt it. Constantine does not forget easily, and every day he grows closer to the Christians. Come with me.
do I owe my life? Perhaps to that justice which embraces all of us. Arrested. Allow me, O oh fathers of Rome, to pay my homage to a man whose valor, whose virtue, whose justice have always deserved our praise. Many of you, perhaps, even here in this hall, are afraid of rendering him honor. But I am not. As his son, at least I have the right to weep for him. Not even his body has been given back to us to mourn. They have told us of his death, of an inglorious death. They have said that he attempted the murder of the Emperor of the West. But where is the proof? Where are those who can confirm it? It's easy to accuse a dead man of the most terrible crimes. My father can't return to say they lie. Did he want power who had it for 20 years and gave it back of his own free will? Or was he killed by someone less guiltless? I must not think. I feel I must not speak. Constantine was more than a brother to me. And it is with the greatest grief that today I am forced to judge his actions. I wish my words were false or unjust. I have tears in my eyes, O oh fathers, as I accuse Constantine of the murder of my father. I call him a liar. Silence, you. Make him be quiet. Arrest him. He offends the Senate of Rome. Arrest him. To the members in prison with him. The man seeks to take possession of the empire. Do not let him deceive you. He has profaned the sacred Senate of Rome. I will not be silent while you he try to demolish the state. This is rebellion. To prison with him. Constantine will never allow this revolt. You seek to destroy the empire. Take him away. There will be civil war. He has insulted the Senate of Rome. Quiet, I say. Quiet yourselves. Can we tolerate a situation where our belongings, our lives, our honor, and even our memories are at the mercy of such absolute power? No! No! That's why my father died! That's why my father's death, his murder, was called suicide! Anyone who dares to defy the Emperor in the name of the Empire will die the same way! I, I will dare it! But who is with me? Who else? Yes, Christian! All the laws passed by Constantine must be annulled. And first of all, the ones that suspended just punishment on the worst and most dangerous enemy of Rome, the Christians. Let us destroy the Christians! Long live Maxentius, our new emperor! Wait, noble fathers. Reflect. I'm not an ambitious Constantine. I take no advantage of a moment of enthusiasm. 
I want the Praetorians to witness the vote of the Senate. The decision is yours, Senators. Speak up if you want to elect Maxentius, Emperor of Rome. I give him my vote. Martin the Emperor! Riots, massacres, my laws revoked. It was for him, your brother, that your father tried to assassinate me. How unjust you are. You knew all about the plot. You could have prevented it and saved my father's life. But you didn't. You accuse me? Don't you understand? He needed such an incident. An excuse to have himself proclaimed emperor. And he didn't hesitate to sacrifice your father. To be surrounded with conspiracy, even in my own household. Oh, thank you. At least for not saying that I'm an accomplice. I'm sorry, Constantine. But from this moment on, there can be nothing except misunderstanding and sorrow between us. And blood. What your brother has begun will not finish till thousands have died. Remember that. Oh, mysterious force that guides our destiny. Help me in this moment so grave and difficult. If I am wrong, help me to see the right. I entrust you the future of my life and of my love. I ask this not for my sake, but most of all for the sake of Constantine. You still have time to change your mind. My place is by your side. Unless you order me to stay. You have no conception of what war is like. Why do you want to come with me? Because I haven't forgotten my marriage vow. Where you will be, Constantine, there will I be first. Remember. It's not the words that are important, but what's in the heart. You've ridden fast, haven't you? Only to tell me of defeats and betrayals. What do you want? Forgive me, but I have news that's worth more to you than Rieti to Constantine. Well, get out. And you too, all of you, get out! Constantine's mother is here in Rome. Her name is Elena, and she's a Christian. Find her at once.
for the last time. Where's Eleanor? No. She is much too pretty. With the others. Lydia! Demetria! Open! And you? I've told you. I've never seen her. Can you tell me about Eleanor? I don't know her. You don't know the mother of your emperor? Still, you do know where she is. If I did, do you think I would tell you? Why did you save 
Please. Permits this, does he? You are not a Christian. No. May Christ protect you. The same way he protects you? Your Christ is a helpless God. No, Hadrian. No. It's not true. Even now I know it's not true. She has answered you. I've tried to believe. But when I see all this injustice and suffering, I can't believe anything. Don't... Don't fill your heart with hatred. It... It only takes you away from me. Love... Love brings us closer. those who tortured you. Yes. Also for those. You mean? You mean you forgive them? Yes. And someday, you will too. Livia. Uh, Livia! We've got to do something. Who can help her? It's useless, Hadrian. I must leave you. And I'm sorry. You're not going to die, Livia. You must not leave me. I love you. Livia. Livia! I am sent by. I know. Constantine is on the other side of the Tiber. Tell the Emperor that all the weak and the oppressed are depending on him. But I've already seen you. You're Eleanor. Yes. Your son is searching every place for you. It would have been very dangerous for him to have found me. Embrace him for me. And tell my son the Christians are with him. The Praetorians, they're coming! Ride! Hurry! I can't leave you here. One life is not important if it can save the lives of others. But I... Don't worry about it. Go, I order you. Don't let them get away! We've got him. Go 
to the torch, quickly. Take them away. What should I do with them? Keep them under strict guard and don't let them speak with anyone. Listen. Message from Licinius to Maxentius. Galerius, Emperor of the East, has been murdered. Licinius has taken command. Instead of an ally, we have an enemy at our backs, who is advancing with forced marches to join with Maxentius and crush us between them. What do you advise? Maxentius must have promised much. Let's send envoys to Licinius and promise him more. The important thing is to stop him, to gain time. We have one advantage over Maxentius. We know something he doesn't know. You're a fool. Maxentius must have sent five messengers by different routes. You haven't rested in many days. Long marches exhausted them. They were raised by hopes of help from Galerius. But as soon as the news spread, we won't be able to stop them. No one will ever take Rome. The gods protect it. Rome has the gods, but we have the Christians. They're a lot of good. You fight, and they pray. Oh, that may be so, all right, but they say they're brave in front of the lion. They're not brave, they're simple-minded. <laughs> <laughs> if you were to meet your brother when we're in battle, would you kill him or let him go? If he's not wearing the same uniform as mine, he's no longer my brother. Hey, you! Where are you going in that Praetorian's cloak? Never mind. He wants to conquer Rome alone. Drink up. We all feel we must fall back while we have time. Retreat tonight. In Germany, we can defend ourselves. Here, we'd be massacred. Retreat to Germany. Licinius would cut us off. Maxentius would be at our backs. That's no solution. There's only one possibility to fight here. And there's only one question. How to win? Go back to your legions. Wait for my orders. Where's my wife? I ask you, where's my wife? She went out. In an officer's cloak. But there's no need to fight. The Empire's yours. You can afford to be merciful. Maxentius, I beg you, listen to what I'm saying. Whom are you trying to deceive? I can understand your bitterness. But I assure you that Constantine didn't kill our father. I doubted him myself at first, but now I know that it was the truth. You really think I'm doing all this to avenge our father? <laughs> How naive you are. That old fool met the end he deserved. All I needed was his death to make the Senate believe this war was justified. Maxentius! And now Constantine will have to humble himself before me. I have as my prisoner the woman he loves most in the world. Apuleius! How detestable you are! Don't flatter yourself. I wasn't referring to you. I've invited your husband to meet me at the Milvian Bridge tonight. I want to see his face when I tell him the name of my illustrious hostage. Eleanor the Christian, his mother. Your emperor is finished. Not one memory of him will be left. I'm proud of being his wife, but I'd rather die than go on being your sister. You make everything easier for me. Give me your ring. <gasps> You'll be responsible for her, too. You mustn't give up hope. One day, without even knowing me, you saved my life. Also then, all seemed lost. No, you can't remember. You didn't see me. I was behind the bars in the arena. But...
I congratulate you, Constantine. It's rare that a general has the privilege of knowing in advance the outcome of the battle. And I am willing to offer you a chance to surrender. On what terms? That you lay down your arms. Recognize me as sole legitimate emperor. And I can live, hmm? Yes, but not your friends, the Christians. Thanks to your edicts, they have come out into the open. It will be easier to exterminate them. Every last one. Is that what you wanted to say to me? Wait. I haven't finished. I will spare one of your Christians. Her name is, uh... Helena. You have no choice. You cannot even retreat. Galerius is dead. His legions under Licinius are at your back. Not to support you, but to annihilate you. We'll see tomorrow. You still have time to decide. But if you fight, you will enter Rome as a corpse. I bury you there myself in a common grave. And your mother beside you. And your wife. Yes, I have her too. Do you recognize this? <laughs> she says she is not my sister anymore. So I will execute her first. Yeah. You'll be given no burial at all, I swear to that! Why did you leave her there? It's impossible to disobey her. She's not your mother for nothing. If only I could see her, speak with her. You have. She was the woman at the tribunal. You questioned her yourself, remember? That woman, yes. Also in the arena. How often I've thought of her. I, I didn't know, but even then I, I felt. And now am I to condemn her to death? Along with Fausto, who's at last truly my wife? Your mother said, one life is not important if it can save the lives of others. The massacre has already begun. I saw them tortured, yet serene, and sure of themselves. They submit to it all in silence, and you feel ashamed. Their martyrdom, their suffering, and their calm courage. Even a fragile creature like Livia, even the worst cruelty cannot break them or their faith. They know why they die. Words, Adrian, Christian doctrines. Their wives are important more than ever before. I cannot let them die. But how can I let the empire die? How can I leave it in the hands of a man without pity, without loyalty, without principles? A world I dreamed of and fought for. A world without injustice or violence, where all men are born free and can live free, would be lost. Forever. I wish I could help, but I know. Leave me now, Adrian. Whatever you decide, I'll be waiting. we can defend ourselves. Here, we'd be massacred. It's like when you really love someone. It's easy to sacrifice. Even your life. We are never alone. God is with us.
soldiers. We are about to attack Rome. Each of you may have to fight someone dear to you. A father, a brother, a son. This is civil war. History judges sternly those who undertake such a war. I am not afraid of history's judgment because we will fight under the symbol of justice, the hope of the humble, the oppressed, the helpless. The sign of the cross. I will not force you, any of you, to accept it as your faith. Only those must stay at my side who will fight for the right of every man to live in freedom without tyranny, intolerance, or persecution. to the river. Get into Rome from here. 
The catacombs, then a tunnel that brings us out near the prison. Old men! Are there many guards there? Yes, Praetorians at both gates. Well, Rome was never invaded by a smaller force. Might well, the prisoners still... We'll treat prisoners. them all, as well as Fausta and Eleanor. Follow me, forward! You can hide the horses in here. Hurry! Dismount, men. Gather your horses. Yes, hurry, men. There's no time to lose. Hurry! Show us the way. Be careful. There are many rocks. Stay together.
Our cavalry is destroyed. Constantine's infantry is moving to attack. But they are few as compared to us. Cursed Constantine. We'll defeat him with infantry alone. Go!
safe. Your mother, she's safe too. Where is she? She's waiting for you. Beth. Do not kneel before me. No, mother. It's your son who greets you, not your emperor. Constantine. Oh, my son. My son. 